Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right. So during breakfast, um, <laughs> oh, wait, nobody wants to see me. Yeah, there we go. Um, what happened during breakfast? We were trying to figure out whether it was Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, I'm so losing track of days. Calendars, I totally am too. I totally am too. Um, so happy hump day, everybody. We've made it to the middle of the week, and this is a beautiful thing. Hi, it Danielle, is. Joy, and Bet. Bet, did you see? I'm um, Brandy Love VIP. I assume you did. <laughs> You're quick. I know I'm slow, but I got him there, so forgive yeah. me for that. But Yep, sorry, Bet. I know it's taken a while, but I did get those recipes up. Um, and for those wondering where they are at, it's... Um, Brandy Love VIP. Yeah, but it's actually uh, Brandy Love's alternative voice on Tumblr. Okay. We just call it Brandy Love VIP. It's the name that we okay, give it. Okay, so they actual... have to surf yeah, here Brandy I'll... Love's alternative I'll, voice. I'll find it exactly. I have many. <laughs> Both sides and center. Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, yeah. It's actually, so it's brandylovevip.tumblr.com. You were right. I'm right once in a while. You were right. So anyways, the those amazing soup recipes are up there. Um, and then we're going to get into some different things. We have, <laughs> there are so many platforms, yeah. so many apps, so many ways to be heard, have conversation, post content. It, it, it's really a little bit mind-boggling and over the course of I'd say a year and we're still not totally there we have been trying really hard to pick our place to pick our home homes we never have one no we like too many different yeah. things but we've really tried hard and, and we're getting there I'm not gonna tell you we're there yep there's no such thing as finality except for death so I'm not gonna say finally it's this this and this because in technology you guys Every other month, something new is popping up, and some of them we just pass on because we can just totally tell it's not for us, and um, and uh, other ones we jump on. Yeah. And are early adopters. So before we get into that, I wanted to because this is coffee with Brandy, Brandy and Chris. I'm gonna have to change the tag. I wanted to. Speaking of that, I'm gonna go grab my coffee. Oh, I good idea. Good idea. Water. It's on the island. Yeah. Um, we got to the beach last weekend, and I brought home some of the coffees. Several of you have sent them to me. I have purchased some, and other people. I just I've <clears throat> I've collected probably 30 bags of coffee when I was looking forward to doing this coffee with Brandy, and this is one that I've really been looking forward to trying. And it just seemed like every time I wanted to have it, it was in the wrong place. So I haven't taken, you know, I have not taken a single sip yet. I just brewed this out. The cup's kind of hot. <laughs> so let me tell you what it is first. So this is Danny Daniels' um, personal coffee, uh, private label. She has a few. This is the one I chose because I personally like dark blends so i figured this is danny's billion one billion dollar blend <laughs> and um it's an ethiopian and sumatran blend so right off the bat i think okay that should be good and just fyi it's the little things i noticed this this is cute see the little it's like a heart oh, yeah. you literally pull that and it, it came right off first yep. of all so kudos for packaging and then you've got your Oh, yeah. Ziploc right in there. It seals brilliantly. It opened brilliantly. So I know that's dumb. But you know how many times we've popped open well, a bag of coffee. Those ones where you have to twist those and suck. put the little flaps they around kind of it. Suck. Yeah, they don't, they don't work right. This is actually... Uh, Danny, good job. If you, if, I'm assuming this was a chick that designed this and I could be wrong. But that is really clean. I'm just saying that's really, <laughs> really neat and clean. That's all I'm saying. It is. That is. So now, when I when I pour, took it out of the bag and snipped it, I have to say that I was, it, it has, it has some sense of um, nuttiness and a sweetness. Not like a flavored coffee, but almost. It, it really? didn't just smell like coffee. It had a, almost a, a nutty sweetness on the nose. Yeah, now that it's, it. now that it's brewed, I think it's less intense. 
and you get more of the coffee, but yeah, it doesn't smell smoky or yeah. or chalky. It yeah, right. So let's, now I'm drinking it black. I have nothing in this coffee, so this is going to be a pure. Wow. Is that good? I'm pleasantly surprised, and don't. I'm not trying to sound like a dick, but when you get stuck on a coffee, I love yeah. Death Wish. Everybody knows it. Death Wish and Murdered Out by um, Black uh, by Rif black, black, black Rifle. Black Rifle. Yep. Those are my absolute favorite. So getting me to try different ones is not easy. And now I have to say, seriously, I have to say, this is not a plug. I'm not getting paid for this, guys. This is just me, you, and coffee. And I have to give Danny's Billion Dollar Blend. Shit, that's a, that's a strong nine. Wow, good. The other two aren't even a 10. Those, are, like those are a nine and a half because I'm still seeking yeah. like euphoria. Maybe something laced with the illegal, <laughs> illegal drug wouldn't be better. But yeah, do you want to try just a sip? No. So I like my cappuccinos. What if I try making you one tomorrow? Yeah, that'd be great. Or maybe next next Monday. Yeah, for let's coffee. do it. I, I, it's delicious. Just black. It is delicious. Good job, Danny. Damn. Nice. Yeah. Now Very I can nice. enjoy the rest of my cup. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to go back to the platform conversation. Once and for all, for at least a month. <laughs> Don't get them confused now. Here's where we're going. And this there are some very, there are some solids. When it comes to social media, you guys, those of you who follow my Instagram and my Twitter, Brandy underscore love, same name, they couldn't be they're more they're polar opposites um those who really love to get into the meat of politics religion what's going on in the world everything that nowadays is very difficult to discuss candidly and without you know hate all of that takes place on twitter i keep it there i'm trying very very hard to keep it there so that if people don't want to know my opinion or people and I wouldn't blame them for this part. They just don't want to engage because it's brutal. It's like third world country shit over on Twitter. And so if you can handle it and you want to engage or you want to know what my thoughts are on there, Twitter yeah. is the place to go. That's and where everything gets discussed. That's at, there's nothing off limits. Um, and, and that can get, it can get tense. It can get punchy. It can get... Come on, it's just fun. Well, it... We, yes, we get, you know, I can get on there and, 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 you know, slay trolls, but even, even my friends will hit me up from time to time and yeah. say, Brandy, are you okay? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't even know what they're talking yeah. about. And I, it's because they see and get involved in some of my threads and they, they get upset and I'm like, look, man, I'm fine. Look, I'm, I've got giggles. I'm, I'm, you know, I feel like I'm getting my feet tickled right now. I'm having a good time. Don't worry about me. That's Twitter. Instagram is the PG version of everything for good reason. I, I want it to be fun and fluffy yeah. and, and pretty pictures and, and, and Panda. Panda's photo shoots are on there. Actually, Mari's photo shoots are on there. You and I at the lake. Um, some pro photos that are PG are on there and, and it's a lot of candids. What I'm doing, what I'm promoting, where I'm going, yeah. those things are all on Instagram. Well, that's really what Instagram's for. I well, mean, yes, it's, but... It's got to be PG and PG-13, so... And but I also specifically keep off of conversations yeah. that, that could go... Yeah, rancid. we just keep yeah. it fun. Keep it, keep it keep light, it light, keep, keep it, fun. it fun. And when it's not, I, I will go through and I try as hard as I can to get to all my comments... I get, I get the shit out. I just swipe it left, get them out. We don't need any of that. Really try to keep it fun and simple. We don't even really look a lot at the comments. No, I, I, if anything, unless it's something that I'm asking a question, yeah. then I definitely do. Yeah. But if it's not, I try to just keep it clean for you guys so that you don't yeah. have to see the shit that you know happens from time to time. And then we're on to OnlyFans. Without question, that's my main home. <laughs> As if I had so many. Yeah. You guys on OnlyFans would be my main home. For, I think you guys are seeing obvious reasons. There's exclusive content. There's The, the content that we put over there is really our raw. It, 100%. It, it is candid. It's unscripted. It's, yep. it's cell phone. 
sometimes you know in the car we just get a little get a little randy and, yeah. and we film stuff and it doesn't have perfect lighting sometimes it does but it doesn't always have perfect lighting yeah. You know, hair's not always done, no makeup on, kind of like right now. It's just, it's Brandy just... Brandy Love Raw. Brandy Love Raw. It's definitely. And from time to time, we'll throw in something just to keep it interesting. I have contests over there. You can win things. Um, exclusive content. I do all my custom videos over there. You always get DMs. I love chatting with you guys. Sometimes it turns to sexting. It, it's just, it really does provide a little bit of everything Brandy. So... I'm having an incredible time over there. And thank you guys specifically so much for your support. It is really, in some crazy times, it's made me realize that you you are the most loyal people. And man, do I love to spoil loyal people. It's my favorite kind of human in the world. And um, keep the customs coming. They've yeah. been fascinating. <laughs> uh, the scripts have been amazing. And uh, we've been shooting probably consistently about- 12 to, 12 yeah, 12 to 15, 15 a, a week. week. So yeah, y'all are keeping us busy. And the rate my dick ones, guys, I'm sorry. I got almost all of them out. I told you by today, and I, I was not wrong. They will all be done today, but I try like hell to be highly organized, and anyone who knows me is going to laugh when I even say that because I fail. Um, oh, you don't. Oh, this, but this was a big one. There was yeah, a lot huge. coming in a lot. So for people who don't know over on Instagram and Twitter, um, you know, Brandy's always been clear about no dick pics on Twitter and Instagram. So, I mean, it's it's one of the first rules of fuck club. <laughs> and um, so as a treat to the folks who are members of OnlyFans and as a place to actually, you know, where it's appropriate. Yeah. Um, Brandy's been holding these contests or I don't know if you want to call it a contest, but it's it's a it's a rate my dick. So summer if you want to send dick pics, summer. you can do it over on OnlyFans. And and I do it with open arms. Like yeah. I get excited. It's taken me a week to get through my rate my dick videos because it's actually been, in a way uh, you've you've had a lot of fun with it. Oh my god. I, it, we end up having sex or I end up masturbating and I yeah. can't even get through. I'm like, I'm gonna get them all done today. He'll walk in the room and I'm like Z -Z 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 -Z. Seriously. She's like, honey, I just got through 40 dick pics. Get your ass in here. <laughs> We've been having fun with it, so thank you guys. And I'll do it again um, just every couple months, and I'm trying to stir it up. That Last month with Liam's script, oh my God, that was so good. Oh, yeah. That was so much fun. You guys are very creative, so keep that up. And then the final... The final um, conversation is really about uh and it, it, it's still a question mark i have we've been shooting content since quarantine it really picked yeah. up then we had some from before yep. but when we got locked down in our house we're like honey we're getting out the big camera and we've been shooting i have no other idea what to call it than pro-am because we're not professional editors or videographers we're pretty damn good but i wouldn't say we're pro and yet we're not am, so amateur. So we're calling yeah. it our pro-am collection. Yeah. And it very much from the beginning, it's got a theme. Yeah. It's, it's very, uh, my fantasies are integrated into every scene. Our love life, the things we enjoy, the things that I am, the things that I want to express. And it, it very much has a, can I say the name? Sure. It has a, a feminine filthy vibe to it it's it's really really oh, feminine yeah. and sexy but naughty um which really just encompasses everything that i think i am and, and if not it's everything i want to be so that content is currently thank you cameron currently looking for a home i would love for it to be um snapchat over at my fan central account there are some challenges there are some really good things over there i love the the day in the life and the, the correspondence over there but I'm just not sure there's some video load and technology things that we're trying to work out. There was a clip store that I was considering and I'm still considering. So that, that last element is still kind of in the... We, we would love to do it over at Fan Centro because it gives you, us, the opportunity to uh, interact with fans in a meaningful way like we can at OnlyFans. Yeah. Um, Different but similar. Yeah. Uh, the platforms are a little different, but it does offer that opportunity, which is great. I mean, anytime you can interact with the fan base, it's awesome. Um, the others don't offer that opportunity. Thank you, Steve Vic. 
Um, however, we just have to we have to make sure that the content can get uploaded in its entirety, and that's been a little bit of a challenge. I got I have to work on the tech side of things, so um, I'm always looking <laughs> I'm at touching, it from, from that standpoint. I am standpoint. not touching the technology. Having to chop up a 15 minute long video into a hundred different segments sometimes is. So we're we're working on that, but I can assure you that once we figure out its home, you guys will know about it as an yep. option, as something that could be interesting. Yes, everybody's up and drinking their coffee. Spotted dick. <laughs> what is that? Like a spotted leopard? That's funny. So. So that's yeah. Yeah, I think that's clear. Yeah. I hope that makes sense to everybody. I really do. Um, because I don't know how to be more clear than that. Hi, Mark. Um, do you have a question? For well, me? I do. Although I just, this is a funny news story. I wanted to read oh. this. So we were talking about the fantasies that people had, yeah, and their, yeah. their own, you know, the, the customs that were shooting at OnlyFans. So it made me think of this thing that popped up on my newsfeed this morning. So get this. So two, this happened. Okay. Right? This is real. So two men snuck into a bedroom with machetes after being hired to carry out a stranger's sexual fantasy of being tied up in his underwear and stroked with a broom. Only to discover they had the wrong address. <laughs> can you, okay. Can you so you might laugh at me because I'm going to skip right over the machete of the strangers <laughs> in the bedroom. And what I want to understand is how does one stroke themselves with a broom? Does anybody... No, well, no. He, wanted, he had a fantasy of, of two people breaking into his house. Yeah. Tying him I got up it. And stroking him with a broom. That's what I'm saying. How do you stroke? I mean, it's got splinters. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he didn't specify plastic handle or not. I mean, broom, don't you usually think of I do. wood? Well, it would, yeah. Ow. I know. I know. Oh, damn. I mean, so again, I'm not judging. I'm just like, well, first of all, hire better people that know how to read a home yeah. address because you can't be messing with That's bad. So when <laughs> you're you when killed. you're considering you know sending over your fantasies, don't worry about what they they might seem like you. We don't judge. We don't judge, but I can promise you, if you wrote this to me, I would <laughs> I would have some questions back <laughs> yeah. to make sure that I truly right. understand what you're asking for. That one might yeah. require a little bit more conversation. That's right. That's oh right. hell, life is interesting. All I'm right. really enjoying this coffee. Let's see, so out of the question. All right, so the oh, question, question, yeah, so this comes from a user, I don't know if this was on um, Instagram or on Twitter, Okay. but it came from Two Twins. That Ooh. was their, at Two Twins, I don't okay. know. Do you uh, prefer professional or amateur porn? <laughs> How interesting that that's a question when we were just talking about pro-am content. Um, there's not a big enough category as far as for, for my consumption, that if I typed in Pro-Am, I would be satisfied. I like both. That is the reality. And I think that's why I love so much the fact that we're shooting something that yeah. we call Pro-Am. I, I mean, there's a place for both. The, the Pro content that I, I really enjoy, I love the artistic side of it. Like the stuff I shot for Sinful XXX when I was in Prague. I've never seen anything like that. Andrew Blake. There are some there are some directors and companies that shoot things that are highly professional and I find incredibly a huge turn on and really beautiful at the same time. So I I really enjoy that. And then the amateur side. Wow, so many amateurs have gotten so good with angles and and just the fact that they'll set up the camera and just have sex. Yeah. And not be so worried about is the boom in the right place? Do you have the angle right? Is my whole ass cheek in the photo? You can see that they're truly into it, like authentically into it. And that is a huge turn on. So I can't say that I... Which one do you prefer to shoot? Same same kind of a I answer. love both. Yeah. I love both. Like if I had to shoot, if I was only shooting pro, I would wish so badly that I could just turn on a camera and just have sex. Yeah. Just have fun. Just just get into the get into my mate. Like yeah. that's I would want that. And if I only ever shot amateur, there'd be that, huh, what's you know, it's neat to sit in the chair and have your hair and makeup done and sure. be handed a script and play a role. Right? So I you know me. I like 
Yeah. I like this and I like that. I don't like having to play roles. Anybody who <laughs> saw that fiasco where I was No, the, it wasn't a fiasco. I, it was exactly what it was supposed to I be. I played the Tiger King. Carol, I'm going to get you some of that tiger milk. I don't know. I still feel embarrassed about that. Look at I'm blushing. I'm I am blushed. too. I am like I'm hot. Oh, it just got really hot in here. That was that was really an intensely not us, but it was fun. Again, for me, it's just like whatever. Let's go for it. Let's have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. That's awesome. Oh, this was really productive and very yeah. fun. Um, thank you, Kevin, Danielle, Dave, Trent. We got some new ones in here. You you want me to? I can. So we can sign off on uh, Periscope and Twitter. And yeah, because I'm sweating. Or, we need to. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us. A pleasure as always.